We're solving problem 432b in Griffith's introduction to quantum mechanics. And we're trying to figure out what you might get if you try to measure the spin in the y direction. And also what the probabilities are of getting each of those outcomes. And as we discussed in problem A, there are only two outcomes of measuring the spin in a certain direction. So imagine you have an apparatus that measures spin in the y direction. It'll give you either spin up in the y direction or spin down in the y direction. We're trying to figure out what the probabilities are of a particle ending up in one of those baskets. Once again, the only eigenspinners and the only states that you can get out of measuring spin in the y direction is, of course, spin up in the y direction and spin down in the y direction. The eigenvalues of the two states are uh, respectively h bar over 2 and minus h bar over 2. And now in terms of the probabilities, uh, we'll start by figuring out what the probability is of measuring spin up in the y direction. And the way that you figure out what the probability is of getting a certain state if you measure something is just by taking the absolute square of the inner product with that uh, certain state and general state. So writing it out, we of course have to take the absolute square of the Hermitian conjugate of the spin up in the y direction and the general state that has the coefficients alpha and beta. That uh, in itself should give us the probability of measuring the spin up in the y direction. And here you can just follow along with my calculations. And for this term, you have to remember that what's inside the uh, brackets here, the absolute brackets, is just a complex number by itself. And the absolute value of a complex number squared uh, is just the complex number multiplied by its own complex conjugate. So we'll have to take all that's in this bracket and then complex conjugate it and multiply it by itself. That's the absolute value squared of whatever's in that bracket. Now we know from the fact that quantum states in general have to be normalized, that the absolute square of alpha plus the absolute square of beta, that should give us one because that's uh, the probability essentially of, of finding any spin state. That should be 100%. So you can do that um, and just cross out alpha squared plus beta squared and make that into a one instead. So once you've done that, you have the probability of finding spin up in the y direction. And we'll move on to finding the probability of finding the spin state to be spin down in the y direction. And of course, it's completely the same method. Instead of using spin up, you just use spin down in your calculations. And when you're done, you'll find a result that looks similar to the probability of finding spin up in the y direction. The only difference is that inside the parentheses inside there, uh, the terms that are conjugated are the opposite ones. So those are the probabilities of finding spin up or spin down in the y direction, given that you have a state that's prepared with the coefficients alpha and beta. Now, just to make sure that what we have here makes sense, we need to find out if uh, the probabilities add up to 100%. And to do that, of course, you just need to add the two terms, the two probabilities, and then do some arithmetic and see that a lot of things cancel out, uh, giving you one in the end. So that's 100%. And that's at least a very good indicator that we've found the right results.